sent him to the hospital because I cannot deliver the baby here. No, no, you can't. Uh, oh, absolutely not. What? Mommy, I can't go to the hospital. I'm supposed to be dead. I'll be arrested and thrown in jail. Yes, that's true. And besides, the cranes can't stand any more bad publicity. Oh, you must be drunk, Julian. The crane name lost luster years ago. And you, this this birth is, is just too complicated. I, I can't do it here. We have to go to the hospital. Uh, 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 uh. Vincent, this is not a normal birth. Gada! Julian, I'm serious. He can't deliver a baby the same as a woman. Well, why not? He's got the equipment for it. Well, that's true, but his female parts can't accommodate a baby passing through them. Oh. Well, here. Here's a butcher knife. Why don't you do a C-section on the kitchen table? You know I can't do a C-section without anesthesia. There must be some more booze around here. What's your pleasure, son? Julian, I am serious. If we don't get Vincent to a hospital, we could lose him. And the baby. You don't say. Now, Mommy. Mommy, I am not going to die. I and you're not going to let this baby die. I, I know you won't let that happen. We're going to have the baby here, like we planned, and then everything will be perfect. Yes, <laughs> if we were a family of carny folk. Okay, Vincent, honey, uh, I want you and the baby to both survive this ordeal. But, honey, I cannot guarantee it. You see, your unique physiology... It, there's not enough room. There's not enough room for the baby to get out, and I can't make enough room without anesthesia. Well, at the risk of repeating myself, why aren't booze and a good sharp knife good enough? Julian! <laughs> no, Mommy, Mommy, I, you underestimate yourself, okay? Yes, you're a drugged out drunk skank, okay? But you're a first rate doctor. I know you won't let me and my baby die, okay? Okay, okay. I was going to do my very best not to let that happen, but. But there is only so much that I can do. Stop making excuses and deliver the damn thing. The longer this takes, the worse my stretch marks will be, okay? You can. And you, get this all on tape, all right? I have bets to win on my block. And you know the AMA will pay big bucks to have this birth on file. Now start shooting. <laughs> there's been any word of a crane jet crashing. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy a new black suit. Certainly can't wear the same one to Fancy's funeral that I wore to Fox's. It is a shame that Louise had to die too. What choice did I have? If I couldn't have him, I sure as hell wasn't gonna let Fancy have him. Oh, and then the poor pilot, Stanley, I drugged, he had to die also. That's okay, I'll have Crane pay for whatever's left of him to be buried. Ooh, and I'll buy him a really nice fruit basket. Comfort food shouldn't have to be fattening. Huh. No word about a crash yet. Ooh, Aunt Sheridan. I should go warn her what I've done before Marty accidentally hears about it on the news. That kid has years of therapy ahead of him. Who knows, finding out Daddy's dead out of the blue really could make him snap. It's no use. This guy's not going to wake up. He's out cold. Oh, my God, Luis. What are we going to do? There's no one flying the plane. Uh, all right. It's, it's okay, because the jet is on autopilot, right? So that buys us a little time. And in the meantime, I'll get in touch with air traffic control. Okay. Good idea. Huh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, my God! The plane is going down. We're going to die. No, we are not going to die. Now, you listen to me. You thought we were going to die when you fell down that mine shaft? We didn't die, did we? This time is no different. Yes, it is. There's no one to help us. The, the, the pilot's out cold. We can't revive him. And there's no one else to fly this plane. Take it to the list. We're going to die. Looking for these, Gertrude. What's going on? So who the hell are you? And what do you want? Gwen, stop. You're being way too hard on Gertrude here. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think Gertrude is who she says she is. Oh, come on. Why wouldn't she be? Well, maybe she plans to kidnap the children and hold them for ransom. Oh, no. No. <laughs> or 
Or maybe she's planning to rob the mansion when she's above suspicion? Oh, no, ma'am. I would never do that. What's going on, Gertrude? What kind of game are you playing here? I want to know who you really are and what you want. Why are you trying to disguise yourself? I'm not. Then what are these fake teeth for? Well, they're to chew with, ma'am. Yes, I know. I know that. Why do you have fake teeth? Wait, maybe they aren't Gertrude's. <clears throat> okay. So Gertrude said that she made the dessert, and then the teeth were in the dessert. So either she's lying about making the dessert, or these are her teeth. So which one is it, Gertrude? Oh. Okay, ma'am, yeah. They're my teeth, but they're not part of the sky. Mm -mm. Uh, okay, then what are they for? Uh, they're to make my teeth look better. Better? Well, yeah. My teeth aren't very pretty. Mm -mm. Uh, and you think that, that these are? Well, they're better than my own teeth. You're k kidding me. I mean, I mean... Oh! Okay, Mr. Winthrop. I understand. I mean, well, people, they used to think that I was British and, until they heard me speak. So I thought, you know, I'd take a hint to make myself look better and I'd, I'd make these teeth and I'd make them perfect. But then I couldn't do that because then it would make the, well, the rest of me just look even worse. So I made those teeth. It sounds foolish. No, wait, wait. It, look, it's, it's not foolish. People do all kinds of things to make themselves look better. You know, I exercise a lot. Gwen's hey, had a few. Hey, hey. Ooh, look, look at Gwen's mother, for instance. She is a testament to cosmetic surgery of the modern times. I mean, she's been nipped, tucked, zapped, lasered, Botox, and wrapped and plucked in every way. And it's all to make herself look better. So don't be embarrassed about it. We should just forget about all this, right? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. How am I going to lay on this thing? It's just her luck never closed before Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't afford flying lessons. What about you? You're rich. Why didn't you get your pilot's license? Well, I tried one. My instructor said I was dangerous enough on the ground. Ah, uh, that's great. Oh, no, it was my fault that, that we're about to crash. Did I say it was your fault? I didn't say it was your fault, did I? Did I say that? Sorry. sorry. All right, look, we just need to think here, okay? Just think. That's it, Sheridan. Sheridan knows how to fly a jet. She flew to New Mexico one time to look for my father. She didn't get in touch with her. Maybe she could talk me through playing in this thing. Okay. Well, I don't know if this is going to work, but it's worth a try. Oh, my God, it's working. Oh, I'll bet Sheridan again. Hello? That's Sheridan and Fancy. What do you want? 
Drunken medical malpractice victim you are. Keep shooting like I told you to. Even in labor, my son is one scary son of a. <laughs> It hurts worse than before. That's because the baby's almost here. I feel like it's stuck. That's why I wanted to take you to the hospital. I mean, the baby may well not be able to get out. Do you know why? Vincent, it's your anatomy. I told you. It's awfully crowded down there. You're talking about someone not ready for their close-up. Tell him, mommy. Tell daddy the child's birth is a beautiful thing, especially when it says baby. I need another drink. No, keep taping. You focus on your breathing. You breathe and push. No, mommy. Daddy's getting on my nerves. He lied to me when he told me that he was happy I'm having his baby. I was talking to Valerie. I am Valerie! If I didn't know that the night we made Whoopi had, I believe me, we would not be here now watching you, my son, give birth. Oh, 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 it's coming! It's coming! The baby's coming! Oh, baby, just keep pushing! Keep pushing! It's not moving! It's not moving! This is what I was afraid of. Your male genitalia is in the way. We're oh, yeah. here. Whack it off like you did mine. That's not funny. You think I'm joking? Julian, this is not funny. We're at a critical point here. If Vincent doesn't deliver the baby, both he and your child could die. <laughs> oh, I can see its head. The baby's almost here. <laughs> well, here you go, Gertrude. I hope you can get the stains out, or else you'll look like a snaggletooth vampire. Gwen. Oh no, that's okay. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and soak these before I go to bed. That was close. Oh wow. Well. Oh. Um. So sorry. That, uh, I messed everything up. Well, you did. D dessert was delicious, by the way. Oh, yeah, I didn't really like mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, why don't I just go ahead and clean everything up? Richard, really, that's okay. You know, Ethan and I really want to have some time alone. Oh, but the the floor is just. Well, Gertrude, you're not you're not a maid. It's all right. They'll they'll sweep it up tomorrow when they um strip the bed. Wait a minute. I thought you wanted to go back to our room. Yeah. Well, everything we need is right here. So. Horny slut. Well, at least you know I should pick up the pieces right here by the bathroom when they're sharp. Sure, because... Really, it's it's okay. So why don't you um why don't you say good good night to the children uh, before you go to bed? That's a good idea, right? Thank you. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, yes, ma'am. Good night. Good night. escape ruined everything I did it <laughs> oh, what is that that's a baby's head what are those two orbs 
These aren't heads, Julian. That's part of Vincent. Oh, such a mess down there. <laughs> mommy, mommy, do something. Do something. I can't stand the pain. Breathe and you push. <laughs> oh, what does it hurt so much? Because you have an unusually small birth canal and the baby's trying to push his shoulders through. So I think if you push really hard, then, then maybe we can just... Get the whole baby pushed out! Push it! Oh, much harder! Oh, I think I'm going to be sick! Joey, just get a grip! Childbirth is a perfectly natural thing. Not this one, darling! Not this one! <laughs> what happened? Oh, gosh! The bearing down, it was too much for him. He passed out. Oh. What now? Well, we have to revive him so that he can help push. But if you think I'm going to give him mouth to mouth... Vincent! Vincent, honey, wake up! Wake up! Vincent! 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 Oh. Well, I'll be happy to give you the salad tongs so you can pull the baby out. No. How about some non-stick spray? Would that help? No, Julian! Yeah. Well. I guess it's back to the butcher knife. You know I can't do a C-section on a kitchen table. That's why I wanted to take Vincent to the hospital. Vincent, wake up. Wake up. You're about to give birth. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Your baby's counting on you. Wake up, wake up. I couldn't get in touch with air traffic control. So I called you, Sheridan. So I figured you're a top-notch pilot. If anyone could talk us down and help us... Land this top, it's you. Please help us, and There's a bunch of warning signs on, and, and we're losing altitude. Hey, Louisa, I'll, I'll do what I can. She says it shouldn't be any problem. The talk is down. I, I, I didn't say that. So what do I do first, Sheridan? Just stay calm, okay? So I can think for a second. Copy that. All right, um, it's a clear night, so visibility should be excellent. It is. Um, do you see anything that looks like a runway? You see a runway? There. Yes. 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 There's a runway. Um, are you still losing altitude? <laughs> yeah, we are. All right, what you need to do is pull the steering column towards you so you see the plane on the screen in front of you become level. Grab the phone. Hey, here it goes! Oh my god, you did it. You did it! We've leveled up! We've leveled up! And some of the, some of the warning signs stop blinking! Here. Alright, Sheridan. We've leveled up. Now what? Okay, next you'll need to slow down to about 150 miles an hour. To do that, look at the center console. There should be a large handle. Slowly pull it towards you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right, we're slowing down. Great, that's, that's great, Luis. I know you can do this, okay? I will help you land this jet safely. Now, hang up the phone, Aunt Sheridan. I will not let you save Louise and Fancy. So you know, it's been hours since we made love. You know, I'm not a machine. Mm, I beg to differ. You are a passionate, amazing man with incredible stamina. And I want you to make love to me again. Mm -hmm. No nookie for you tonight, Gwen. It's my turn. Oh my god, what now? Gertrude! What is she, a voyeur? Um, I thought you might like an after dinner drink since uh, I messed up your dessert. <laughs> so, well, that was very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Gertrude, and good night. Good night.
Well, you know what? She's right about one thing. After what we have been through tonight, I need this. Uh, so here, here's to us and to a wonderful mind. Mm. The sooner you go to sleep, Gwen, the sooner I get to be with Ethan. I won't let you save them, Aunt Sheridan. Have you lost your mind? Luis and Fancy are on the crane jet. The pilot is unconscious, and neither one of them knows how to fly. This isn't news. Who do you think got him in this predicament in the first place? Oh, my God. You really have lost your mind. No, I've lost Luis, and if I can't have him, no one can. So pick up the phone, tell him you have company, and let them crash already. What? No, I am not going to let Luis or Fancy die. Not if I can help it. Sharon? You still there? Yes, Luis, I'm right here. Get away from me. Not until you hang up the phone so they can die. No. I swear, if you don't stop, that scar on your face is going to be accompanied by cuts and bruises. Sheridan! Louise, just, just hold on one second, okay? Behave yourself or leave. I am busy. Sheridan, listen to me. We're getting pretty close to the runway here. If you don't help me land this plane, uh... Oh, I want them dead. Do you hear me? Oh, dead! Go! Go! Oh, no, stop it! And Sheridan, please help us. We'll die if you don't! Sure. Uh, what's going on? What's on the ride? Do this. Stop it. Oh, back off. So I can help him land this plane safely. No. I went to a lot of trouble to get them to die tonight. So just let it happen. Do you really want your baby with Luis to grow up without a father? Luis isn't that great with Marty. And besides, as soon as he has kids with Fancy, my child will never see him again. You don't know that. Doesn't matter, okay? Because Luis is going to die along with Fancy. No, no, I'm gonna help them. The hell you are! Sheridan, get back on the phone. We're running out of time here. What's going on? I don't know. There's some sort of commotion. Aunt Sheridan, help us! Oh my God, boys, what are we gonna do? No, pray. Sheridan gets back on the phone, <laughs> and soon. Stop it! Let me go. <laughs>
I'd miss making love to you. I'd miss just... We're gonna make up for it. Right now. I came here to tell you that Louise and Fancy would die tonight before Marty accidentally heard on the news. And this is what I get for trying to be nice. Oh, since when is it nice to murder people? Oh, you are missing the point. Fancy won't marry Louise, okay? I thought this would make you happy. Oh, I swear that scar of yours is eaten through to your brain. Oh. I'm not going to let Louise die, or Fancy for that matter. Yes, she is a thorn in my side, but she's still my niece and I love her. It wasn't my first choice either, but it's the only way to get Fancy away from Louise. Deal with you later. After I save Louise and Fancy. I hope I'm not too late. Louise, are you there? I'm back. Louise. Louise. Oh my god. Oh no, Louise, Louise. Oh my god, I'm too late to save them. Louise. Wake up, wake up, Vincent. You have a baby to deliver. A baby you've gone to extremes to have. Now you can't fail when you're so close to your goal. God, the baby's still stuck. If Vincent doesn't come too soon, it's gonna suffocate. Wake up, wake up, Vincent. And have your baby like a man. Oh, thank God. What, what happened? Your father revived you. You passed out. Oh, thanks, Dad. Just... Have your baby so I can get back to drinking. Okay, honey. Just one more really good push and the baby should be out. Okay. 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 Uh... Ah! Ah! The baby's out! The baby's out! Oh, what happened? What happened, honey? The little boy or girl? Oh, please. God, let it be one or the other. I'm so sorry, Louise. I'm so sorry I couldn't save you. This is all your fault. I hadn't wasted my time arguing with you. Louise and Fancy would have landed safely by now. Sheridan! Louise! Oh my god, you're alive! Sheridan, where were you? What the hell's going on? I, uh, I, I had an unwelcome visitor, but I, I doubt they'll be coming around anytime soon. Uh, well, that's good. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Uh, Louise, you want to catch up after you land the plane? Right, right. Uh, all right, Sheridan, uh, you help me land this thing here? Just, um, just listen to me closely, okay? And I'll, I'll talk you through landing step by step. All right, wish me luck. You can do this, Louise, okay? You gotta come home to Marty. Just think about coming home to our son. Am I gonna die? I got too much to live for. Marty, my family, a baby with pretty, fancy. We're gonna get through this, okay? Okay, Luis. Now just listen to me. What you need to do now is align yourself with the runway by tilting the steering column to either the left or the right. Once you do that, look at the panel in front of you. There are several buttons. Press one to lower the flaps, then press two to engage the landing gear. This will slow the plane down. All right, here goes nothing. survived a shark attack in Mexico, but I have not felt alive till now. I missed being in your arms so much. I love you. Yes, it's really me. I'm alive. But I can't let you know. At least not yet.
Oh, I love being with you. I love you so much, Ethan. Ethan? Ethan, where are you? Since just giving birth to a perfectly healthy baby boy. <gasps> Did you hear that, Daddy? I had a boy. We had a son together. Are you sure that it's just... just a boy that does nothing extra? Yes, Julian. I'm sure it's a boy. It's just a boy. <laughs> I bet his penis isn't all jacked up like yours. I wasn't born that way, you know. You engineered your mother reattaching my penis upside down after you hacked a considerable portion of it off. Uh, you still got plenty left. That is so beyond the point. Okay, please. Can we stop this and just savor the moment? Julian, we have a grandson together. Our son has given us a grandson. Careful. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, little guy. I'm your daddy. And your mommy. Hmm. I always wanted a child of my own. To be there for. To take care of, to love. And don't worry. I won't abandon you like my parents abandoned me. Mm -mm. And I'm going to be the best parent there is. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Yeah. Our son gave birth. <sighs> yes. It was a medical first, and we were witness to it. The ramifications of this are just mind-boggling on so many levels. Oh, just don't go there, Julian, okay? My head is still spinning, and I just want to be happy that Vincent and the baby are all right. You're sure everything is... is okay, that nothing is going to show up later? Yes, of that I am certain, Julian. Vincent's baby is... all boy. We are at 500 feet and dropping. 400 feet. 300 feet. Uh, Sheridan, listen to me. We're down to 300 feet now, okay? Okay. Um, put the wing flaps all the way down. Okay. Here goes. When you touch down, hit the button that says reverse thrust. This should bring the plane to a near stop, then disengage the jets. Uh, okay. Wish me luck. I do, Luis. I do. You and Fancy both. Okay. Here goes. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, you did it! We made it! Sheridan, all right, Sheridan, I did it. We're down. We're down safe and sound here. Oh, thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you, Aunt Sheridan. Thank you so much. Sheridan, you did it. You're saving our lives. <laughs> thank you for making the impossible possible. 
I'm so glad I was able to help and that you and Fancy are both okay. Oh my god, we made it! <sighs> sure, thank you. We gotta uh, take this pilot to the hospital and uh, after that we're gonna come thank you in person. Listen, Luis, I, I know that we've both had our problems, but I, I love you both. And I just want you to know that if this hadn't ended well, I, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah, well, good thing we don't have to worry about that now, do we? I'll see you when you get here. Okay, I'll see you. Oh, my God, thank you, Aunt Sheridan. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Woo! We made it. You did it. I, I, I was afraid we wouldn't make it. No, I gotta be honest with you. There were a few moments there I didn't think we were gonna make it either. What would we have done if, if Aunt Sheridan hadn't helped us? We, we would have died. Hey, hey, don't think about what might have been, all right? Think about what's gonna be. We're gonna be married. We're gonna have a wonderful future together, all right? Like I said, nothing and no one is gonna keep us apart. <laughs> Save Louis and Fancy's lives. You stupid bitch. You ruined everything. What is that sending to his name? God, I love being in your arms. Why does that... Why does that voice sound so familiar? Be around very long. Aunt Sheridan has to die. And just how do you plan to alleviate my stress? Mm. Juanita Vasquez! You're under arrest. So you're here. And you're alive. 